Both Pablo Picasso and Andy Warhol left behind estates valued at more than $100 million when they died. But if you think the phenomenon of the super rich artist is a relatively recent one, you'd be mistaken. Back in 1564, when he died, Michelangelo was one of the wealthiest men in all of Italy. In 1635, Peter Paul Rubens bought a castle. A castle. The public loves the idea of the artist as a struggling genius, toiling away in poverty. But when you take a close look at history, it soon becomes obvious that the very best artists, the most creative, the most spiritually profound, invariably die rich. Very, very rich.